the energy consumption of the Jaguar I-Pace, because it's not known as the most economic EV in the whole world. And the worst test result I have been reading about is uh, about an average energy consumption of uh, 35 kilowatts per hour on 100 kilometer. Just wonder how they do, did that. And uh, usually it's between somewhere 28 kilowatts per hour, 30 kilowatts per hour. Well, my result is quite different. Usually my daily commute is 6 kilometers to work and back. City, country road, city. And uh, I barely drive on the motorway. When I drive on the motorway it's about speed of 110 120 kilometers per hour 110 is really the comfort zone of the Jaguar A pace and uh, yeah let's take a look at the average energy consumption in the last 3262.5 kilometers as you see here with an average speed of 31 kilometers per hour because of traffic lights and traffic and so on and so on so I have an energy consumption in the middle, this is summer winter, 20.9 uh, kilowatts per hour with uh, regen braking energy of uh, 185.4 kilowatts per hour I produced. By the way, at the moment the iPad is showing me a range on a full charge of 453 kilometers, which is uh, not the truth, but uh, it's quite positive, but uh, yeah, it's not that bad. Question is, did I in September break the world record and do I get into the Guinness Book of Records? Because for a distance of 10.5 kilometers, with an average speed of 36 kilometers per hour, I had an energy consumption of 12 kilowatts per hour. With that energy consumption, this car could do 700 kilometers on one charge. So my question is to all iPace drivers, did I break the world record accidentally because I don't drive quite uh, yeah, energy efficient, I just try to drive normal. And not driving like a sissy. So did I accidentally break the world record or did somebody better than I? So far so good. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and have a nice day.